Pew. The Pew. A very special episode, a bi coastal episode. It's our FaceTime We're edition. Bi coastal. Sponsored by FaceTime. The only. Uh, not sponsored by FaceTime. It's not at all sponsored by FaceTime. In fact, we may be demonetized for even yeah. suggesting that. We may be told never to use FaceTime again. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. So, what is, so tell the, the viewers what you're doing in California. I'm visiting my parents and I'm recovering from the flu. And I had actually had this uh, uh, winter break scheduled for a couple of weeks, or I think like three or four weeks. And then I ended up getting the flu last week, so it's more a convalescence than it is. Bernie, tell them the real reason you're in LA. You're running from all of the attacks um, that we're getting for having the um, Ripinol painting behind us on the um, on, on the pew. Well, the, the reality is that you can't run from attacks on the internet. No well, matter. then why are you in California? I'm just here. I stayed here. I'm just I'm here painting. For, hey, I'm, I'm here for pleasure. Doesn't it look beautiful? Um, I can't see. Well, I mean, there's like a palm tree in the background, and it's beautiful and sunny. I'm sitting outside. It's not cold. Oh, if I move this, I can see. Oh, now I can see you. I'm sitting in my parents' backyard. Oh, I'm jealous. Kind of. It's springtime it here. Like, Flowers it are looks blooming. Like the it looks like the backyard that um, Jane explained when she was, was in the... When she was sober? Nothing. How do you like my bedroom? It's a new set. Congratulations. It's better than the mattress on the floor like it was before. Would it kill you? Who killed me? Would it kill you? I like it. Oh my god! Oh my god, I've got a mouth. You do have a mouth, and sometimes it's a filthy mouth. A mouth. Oh, a yeah. mouse just ran across the floor. Uh, well, you know, anytime there's a flood, rodents can detect that and they oh flee for their lives. Oh my god, that's it? No, seriously, you think that's it? I didn't see the mouse, no. What, what no, I it? said, do you think that's it, the flood? Uh, possibly, maybe it... Uh, I, it I have a water main break. It wet have their a, sanctuary. The purists will be dying to know. I have a water main break in my bathroom right now, and there's like three inches of water, and um, I just turned the water off. And now all the rodents are running for their lives. Um, the just like on the Titanic. Yes, the Titanic. The um, the mouse tannic. Um, oh. Well, some um, would argue that all of Patterson is one big Titanic. Um, well, and, and they would. Some would be wrong. It's the Lithuania and Titanic, and um. What else? But there's no sinking it. Um, well, um, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, uh, uh, but a lot of people are moving here this week. Alfio is moving here. Oh, really? Yeah. What happened to his house here. in the Bronx? It was so nice. Um, something about his mother. I'm oh, not okay. sure. Well, I and, hope, she, um, I hope yeah. she's okay. Um, I think she's in the hospital. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll have to give him um, a call. Yeah, um, he and his new boyfriend, and Kyoki, and I think a new DJ named Charlie, and um, and JJ, and um, JJ's moving Vector Gallery there. Mm, sort of. He's moving his house here, and he's going to have an apartment like mine with the upstairs, and he's going to turn the upstairs into a gallery. Awesome. Mm hmm. Well, we'll have all these handy guests the next time we go. I go there to record episodes. Yes, yes, that's the point. No more inviting no, people; um, they'll just be there. No. Are we going to change the um, the backdrop to um, something that Hannah's grandmother would like? <laughs> How about a bouquet of flowers? <laughs> yes. Apparently, we have to change our background because uh, having a, a child and the date rape drug name on one painting is too much for some pures. You know, I can see where they're coming from. Can you? Not really. No, I, I, I think they're just misinterpreting the Well, painting. they totally are. They're, they're, seeing, I mean, they're seeing like one-fifth of the painting right. and then drawing conclusions. Right. So, so given those conclusions, I can see where they're coming from. So they're wrong. for all those pures who have no idea what we're talking about, in recent, we'll in recent days, 
some people have been posting on the Pew channel asking why we have the date rape drug name on a painting next to a child's feet and it appears that we're suggesting that we should be giving children the date rape drug so that we can rape them. Which in fact couldn't be further from the truth. Could be further? Could not be further could from not the be truth. Further from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> um, or could honestly, it? <laughs> you know what? I, at this point I don't know what the truth is anymore. Um I know that um I know that Desmond was invoked. Did you see him in vogue? No, I think you have to explain your painting, though. What is your painting about? It's the zombie girl. You know, I, 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 I actually, it's very hard to offend me, but it's offensive that somebody asks you to, to explain a painting. A painting is supposed to evoke a feeling that words cannot explain. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. You cannot explain a painting. A painting means something different to everybody who sees it. Um, well, you know, well, that means, allow, me, uh, allow me to explain the painting because well that being said you know, I did have I did have something behind it you know I, I mean I mean I look I look at the painting and I perceive it as a social satire on based on the massive drugging of children with Ritalin and with Adderall so we in our country have parents all over the nation just plying their children with these psychotropic drugs to calm them down or to alter their moods because it's inconvenient for the parents to accept them the way they are. So your painting is a satire on a real practice that's occurring. And instead of putting the word Ritalin or Adderall at the bottom of the painting, you just happen to put Rohypno. That's my interpretation of your painting. Oh, okay. Well, yes and no. Um, you are right. The first part was right about the, um, you know, it was painted around the time when, um, when, when pharmaceutical companies were beginning to advertise in magazines. Okay. Remember that? And I thought that the, the advertisements looked sort of like, um, soda pop or like, um, kind of candy, something trendy. And I could, I could envision that, that, that would be the next step. And so I acted as if these companies had hired me to create a, a campaign that would make their product cool and feel like the, the fabulous, you know, big mouse. So I made a different campaign for different companies. I made one for Merck, one for Pfizer, one for Lilly, one for um, Roche, you know, and they're all comp completely different. All right. Well, I wouldn't say that my interpretation of your painting is wrong because everybody's interpretation, like they're not is, exactly, is different. So, like, it's right for me, and that's how I interpret it. So, so, for the people who are interpreting it as us advocating giving date rape drugs to children, that's not the original intention of the author, is it? No. Um. And um. They, I, I would say, they're, they're wrong. Yeah, and, and we're going to flash a picture of the actual whole painting so that you can look at it. Yeah. It is the zombie Although, girl jumping now here's a little here's a little twist. Here's a little twist. The painting is actually not finished. Well, <laughs> are any of your paintings finished? Yes, that was not. Because <laughs> I haven't figured out what I'm going to put in there yet. Well, we're finished. Oh. With, we're, we're finished with this segment. We'll be right back. Oh, oh and when we come back, I'm going to show you some of my new um, paintings from um, JJ that he gave me. And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back to the Pew. Welcome back to the Pew. Welcome back. We're where we are going to educate you. We've got some artwork from around the world. And I'm in sunny California, recovering from and the flu. And I'm in gloomy New York, uh, Patterson. A little voguing so, there. So, um, J.J. Brine, who had a fabulous event last night at the Vector Gallery that did not happen. Well, how do you um, have so, it if it didn't happen? Um, well, he invited so many people that he wasn't able to get the message out to enough people that it hadn't happened. So some people came and made it happen. I think I understand that. Yeah. Did you happen to understand that? Okay. So he gave me two pieces of um, artwork. I don't know if you can see this. This is... Um, it looks like a cross. It's, uh, it's making a statement on um, consumerism and religion. Then, he gave me this. 
Is there a glare there? Right there. No. Is that? Okay. What is that? Um. Well, it's a. It, it, he doesn't want me to call it a collage. So this isn't a collage. How about mixed media? Can we call it mixed it's media? A, it's a mixed media. Yeah. So um, just another busy day in Bosnia, bitches. In Bosnia. And may, maybe she's bored with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. And Dairy Queen and Geico, and uh, yeah, and JJ and a band aid. Sweet. Let me speed up. <laughs> Pretty. They um they actually go in their light boxes. This will light up. It's plexiglass and then it's light in the background. It's real cool. Um, so uh, it looks like JJ is going to be designing um rumpus room. Great. Um, well, I could use a makeover at this point. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, um, we have that to look forward to. Now, do we have any bitches want to know? I have to. Uh, we do not have any bitches want to know because we just discussed the, uh, the main bitches want to know, which was why we were advocating date rape drugs for children. Oh, and why are we? <laughs> we're not, people. We're not. Oh, that's right. <laughs> See I you next time. Date, date rape drugs. All right. Bye. Bye. From sunny New York and gloomy uh, California.